Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to two cars that are very different from one another. On my right, we have the BMW M135. On my left, we have the X3. Now, there is one thing that really links these two cars together. Can you guess what it is? It's BMW's fantastic X-Drive system. X-Drive is BMW's four-wheel drive system. And in this car, X-Drive is used for something slightly different in the M135. X-Drive in this car is used to make sure it's stable and performs across every single surface. We've got a two liter four cylinder petrol engine up front producing around 300 horsepower. And that power, because the BMW 1 Series, this new generation of F70, it's a front wheel drive platform. And I don't know about you, but I think 300 horsepower primarily to the front wheels is well, I mean, it's a lot of power to go through the front wheels. The front wheels will need to deal with 300 horsepower plus the steering of the vehicle. So X-Drive in this car, it is still a front wheel drive biased system. So majority of the time, the majority of the power is put to the front wheels, which is a difference to the rest of the X-Drive systems across the range. But when it needs to, it can send power to the rear wheels in adverse conditions so for example in the rain in some really horrible roads in the dry as well it's used to make sure you have 300 horsepower underneath your right foot the second you press that throttle and believe me it works an absolute treat i've been running an m135 actually for the last six months and it's been an absolute joy. There's not a single scenario where the car slips or it's been tripped up. It offers incredible performance all the time, any conditions, and it just feels exceptionally stable at all times. No matter what the conditions, you always have the confidence to have all of that power and use it all of the time. And it's not just this car as a M performance model that uses BMW's X-Drive. There's plenty more in the range. So for example, the M235, the same sort of car as this, uses X-Drive. But the big ones, we have BMW's M X-Drive system as well, which is a slightly different system to the one that you find in this car. In those cars, say for example, the M3, the M4, the M3 Touring, and the M5 Touring, it's predominantly rear wheel biased. But believe me, I've driven those cars plenty of times. That X-Drive system, that MX drive system in those cars is simply spectacular. The way that you can put down over 500 horsepower, I mean, nearly seven, well, around 700 in the M5 is nothing short of exceptional. And in those cars as well, you also have an option in the system, in the iDrive system to turn it to just rear wheel drive, which isn't something that I would recommend on the public roads because those cars are just, they're wonderful. I adore them with every single breath in my body. But I have to say, the M135 for me, with that X-Drive system, is a match made in heaven. It means that you can enjoy a relatively small, powerful one series all the time, all year round, in any conditions. But of course, there are plenty of other cars in the BMW lineup that use X-Drive just like the X3 we have alongside this today. And in that car, X-Drive is used to make it stable and usable everywhere all the time. On the big SUVs in the BMW lineup, X-Drive is there to make it practical and fantastic off-road. And from my personal experience of actually driving these cars off-road and really testing that X-Drive system to its absolute limits and its absolute potential, it does an exceptional job. The power in these is split normally 60 to the rear, 40 to the front, so you still get that typical BMW rear wheel drive biased feel when you're driving on the road. But as it is in the M135, when you start to lose traction, when you really need some more traction at the front or the rear, 
BMW's xDrive system is intelligent. It can work out where it needs to send the power to the front or to the rear. It is about making these vehicles as safe, as engaging, and as usable as they can be. And as I say, it's not only this X3 that has xDrive, you can pretty much get xDrive on every single model in the lineup. And they're all slightly different xDrive systems. So as I say, for example, this particular car uses a more conventional xDrive system, the 6040 split to the rear. The M135 we looked at a few seconds ago uses a slightly different xDrive system, more biased towards the front. I believe it's a 6040 split, but the opposite way to the front. And then, of course, as I've mentioned, the M cars, the xDrive system in those, the MX drive system in those, is all about enhancing the performance and making the phenomenal performance that those cars have accessible and usable, especially in the UK, all year round. The benefits, I think, of X, the benefits I think of X Drive are almost endless. It makes the car slightly heavier, of course, because there's now axles front and rear. But I think that's a small trade-off for making the vehicle even more usable. And I've got a little example for you. Last year in the winter, we had a little bit of snow around late November. At the time, and this is actually another example of a very different car with xDrive, I was in a 330e xDrive. We had some snow. Everybody else on my estate was pretty much stuck. But this 3 Series with xDrive, and you've got to remember this is just on completely normal conventional summer tyres, not on winter tyres or anything, it just drove off. It just drove through with exceptional ease, composure. Of course, there is a little bit of sliding, but you need that when you're in, in the snow. But the sliding wasn't uncontrollable. It was, it was very easy, and it meant that I could carry on going around the UK and going to places and working when pretty much everybody else, including my wife, was stuck. And I think that is the thing that I think is so amazing about BMW's xDrive system. Of course, you expect xDrive. You expect four-wheel drive on a big car like this, on an X3 or an X5, an X6. You expect it on those cars. But for me, the big, really cool thing about xDrive is, as I've mentioned, you can get it on pretty much any model in the lineup. So if you've got a 3 Series, you can have xDrive on it. And that means that it's even more usable. And I'm not saying that the rear wheel drive versions aren't usable, they are, they are phenomenal. They still have fantastic traction in pretty much all weathers. But that X drive just gives it that extra edge of security and usability when the going starts to get tough, which in the winter here in the UK is rather unpredictable. You never know what we're gonna get, but you always know that we're gonna get a lot of rain. There's always leaves on the road, the roads are always muddy. And it means that you can carry on going when Mother Nature would really rather you just stayed at home and didn't go anywhere. So there we go, a look at the fabulous BMW xDrive system in two very different vehicles. Now the xDrive system, as I've already mentioned, is available on pretty much every model in the BMW lineup. And if you want any more information on BMW xDrive or any BMW for that matter, please use the link in the description of this video to contact your local Sintner BMW retailer. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel for plenty more content to come, and I will see you guys again very, very soon.